Okay. Well, good night. <clears throat> Hopefully before the sun gets too far down, we're gonna paint those guys. I went, I got Walmart to make me up one gallon of Glory Yellow. Now I wanted Queen Bee Yellow, but they didn't have it in this particular brand. This is Glidden. I don't recommend or discern from anything. Um, it was the one I could get the color I wanted in, or as close to it as I could. All I'm gonna do is uh, I'll show you here in a sec, and you'll be like, okay, Clell's lazy as I'll get out. And you will be correct, because I am not trying to impress anyone with my skills painting or anything like that, because I don't really have a lot of skills painting. And I don't want to get a bunch either. But I tell you what I have got. I've got a healthy respect for people learning to do things and learning to do things a little better than they did before. So watch this. This is how I paint my hives. Just like this. I have done this for years. Okay. I am not trying to impress nobody, like I said. But look at that. I'll have to go back with my brush and paint the cutouts for the, uh, well, you can see where the cutout is for the uh, handles. Uh, I'll have to go back and, and do a little bit of that. But in reality, look at this. This is the way I, I, I had, uh, I've got six hives. There's only five of them out here. The other one is already put together. I did a video on it, putting it together. And so I will, uh, I'll paint it regular because there ain't, ain't much else I can do with it. But look at how quickly we're painting all of these boxes right here. Okay, uh, I laid the cardboard down, not because of anything special for the, for the uh, ground or nothing. I don't care about that. I put the cardboard down because uh, I don't want the dirt and stuff sticking to my boxes. They don't really care, but I do. In the meantime, you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, this is this is how I do my boxes. You do yours your way, okay? But uh, I like to believe in the smarter, not harder rule in pretty much everything I do. I do my best to, to uh, you know, work at a, I don't, I don't mind work, but I don't see why I should have to work hard when I, when I don't have to. I got uh, better things to do, if you will, than to work hard. So I try to work smarter. As you can see, uh, I'm getting all of these boxes painted at the same time, all right? You don't have to press down. As a matter of fact, pressing down will not help you uh, because they'll just uh, they'll just wiggle away. But I, I can see where I got the ball spots. I go back and I hit them, double coating where I need to, you know. And uh, this is this is all I do. Now this is just an old cheap roller that I got at the local store. There ain't nothing special about it. I don't know anything about paint that I could teach you. This is a satin finish. And the guy at the store was asking me, he said, now this is a satin finish. He said, do you care? I said, well, the bees care. And he said, no. I said, then I don't care either. Because if the bees don't care, the bees like it, I like it. And that's what we're doing. Now I'll put two coats of this paint on here. I know that one coat will make a good primer. And the, the wood's gonna suck it up too. This is raw wood, okay? This is raw wood, it's gonna suck up some doggone paint. But this is gonna be pretty, I believe, when we're done. And uh, you can see, see what I'm doing here. I'm making sure that I get that first coat on there. Now, I ain't, I'm not trying to skimp or anything. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind working. I just wanna work smart. I don't wanna work in, in accidents. And I think I got a box turned upside down right there. I sure do. All right, one up there, I'm gonna have painted the inside on it. It doesn't matter. They don't see the inside. Um, but it ain't what I wanted to do either. I thought I was being more careful than that. I 
hate that. All right, but lessons learned, folks. Always lessons learned. Always, always, always. Be looking for what you can learn from what you've done. Okay? There's nobody to blame out here but me. If anything goes wrong, I ain't trying to take no credit for nothing. Uh, there ain't nothing to, nothing to take credit for. But if there's any blame for anything that happens wrong, you can bet it'll be me. Sure it is. I left one of them upside down. How about that? Yeah, I will buy one. All right. Ooh. It's okay, though. Let's turn it over and start again. All right, now. They don't, they don't like the paint, but they don't dislike the paint, if you know what I'm saying. They don't, they don't really care. Uh, by the time the season gets going good, they will have propolis that whole side right there anyways. And uh, that little bit of paint right there will not matter. Okay? The paint is more to protect your box from the weather than anything else. Now, the reason that I chose yellow is because the doggone wanted yellow. I like I like it. I actually thought about naming my my bee company, the Yellow Box Bee Company. Uh, like I said, I had uh, I had at one time I had Queen Bee Yellow, and I like that, but I couldn't get it this time, so I got this one. Like I said, this is Glory Glory Yellow. It is pretty, and we're gonna see how it dries up, of course. And I believe I ain't got a reason to believe it's not gonna dry up pretty, are you? And uh, we'll have a we'll have ourselves some really pretty boxes out here in the yard. See now. I keep my bees right here in the yard, okay? I don't have a, a bee yard four or five miles from the house. And my wife likes things to be aesthetically, aesthetically pretty. And so I like my wife to be happy. And so I try to do things that are, you know, gonna keep her happy or at least, you know, be a chance of it. I, I don't wanna do things that's gonna automatically make her mad. You know what I'm saying, okay? And so, I do these boxes here, and I'm gonna see whether or not they're pretty. And uh, you can see that that's gonna be pretty in the yard like that. And uh, we're gonna have ourselves a good old time. All right, so that's how long it takes to paint six boxes, seven minutes and 50 seconds. All right, next we're gonna do the tops or the, or the sides. Y'all hold on. 